Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on my projector that I got, the NEC VT460. Um, I'm going to do a little review on it, um, just because um, I got it in... Oh, Oh, that's the MacBook starting again. Because I got it in, um, I thought that uh, it'd be good because I've searched on Google, uh, YouTube and there's not much things um, about it. So I thought, um, well, me and uh, Cupcake are going to do this review. Um, so hopefully everything will go according to plan. So basically it's the NEC VT460. Um, let's have a wee walk around it first. Obviously you've got the infrared for the remote, but I didn't come with the remote, which is a problem. But I will buy one. Obviously the lens cover, the lens itself, the focus. And there's a zoom on top, which obviously zooms in your wall, but we will show you that. Uh, that's the uh, volume. And at the back you've got the... Um, Control panel, as it were, power button, uh, VGA, F video, and the red, the RCA. And then you've got the menu button, the selectors, enter and cancel. Uh, that's obviously just something to keep it in. I haven't actually took it apart yet. Um, around there is where the uh, filter is, and a fan at the top as well. This has got a lot of fans on it, that's the problem. It's got another huge fan around the corner as well. And if Cup, you stop biting me. Because you're a wee mentler, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, right, cup. Stop biting me. Stop biting me, cup. Right, Sorry. Right. And if we move to the back, sorry about this, uh, we will see what stuff's at the back. Uh, you might not see that well, but that's your RCA, the yellow and off the audio audio. Then you've got the S video input, VGA input. Then you've got the. Now if you want to plug um, a printer in, because um, it's got the same kind of connector, and the PC control, which means that you can control it from uh, your. You better watch it. By the way. <laughs> okay. And that's about it. And then you've got your power switch. And your um, power lead as well. Now I've got all these wires going around my room kind of thing. As you know that I'm kind of into my LEDs and my stuff. Obviously my walls are going to get done. Because it's quite annoying because that's what I'm projecting on. The wall's a mess. But you know, just a bit of paint. A bit of paint and stuff and it should be uh, pretty good. But at the moment I'm using my sound system. My Altec Lansing. Which um, there's a speaker up here. And the speaker down there, and I've got them hooked up to my docking station kind of thing. I just have modified it and put a blue LED strip. Uh, it's quite handy because I've got my colour changing in the corner as well. Right, anyway, back to the cheddar cup. Stop, play, stop playing with that. It's meant to be a lens. And to cut cake playing toy. Oh. oh, come on, don't make that nice. It's annoying because it touches the, the back. Hang on. There we go. Well, I'm getting new connectors because the ones that are in it are broken. Well, they're gone. So, basically what we'll do, what do you think we should do first? Um, uh, let's put it on and show you free view, yeah. So basically what you do is, you go to the power, hold it down. There we go. And basically, now I might have to adjust this because I moved the box. But um, as long as it's on F video, which it is, um, that's the free view remote. Free view box is there. Uh, I'm just gonna have to watch it coming onto my wall now. Oh, I see someone moving. You'll probably be like, hey, I can't see it. Oh yeah, there it is. I don't even know what I'm watching. Let's go in seven. Maybe Family Guy's on for us to watch. American Dad, that's a good start. Now it's not yellow. That's the weird bit. It's not yellow. But it's a huge screen, which is pretty decent. And I've got it plugged into my PlayStation 3 via RCA. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, RCA there, um, which obviously plugs into the back. But at the moment, I've got the free view and connected into my, my computer, which is the VGA cable there. So basically, let's first things first, uh, let's get it into the... Uh, Cup's attacking me. <laughs> you just silly cat cup, seriously. Don't you bite me. Right, let's turn the lights off. Cup, And now that's put the lights off. Now it's really clear. With some projectors it might be a bit dull, but with this it is just right. Seriously, it is just 
just right. So basically, I think I've got it aligned, to be honest. Yeah, maybe a bit in the corner there, but I can still see it. And in case you're thinking, oi, there's no sound, there is cops stop attacking me. Seriously, stop attacking me, right. And it's just like that. So that's that, and as you can see, there's the projector officer projecting. Drooshed. Um, so let's try it with my laptop now. Let's try it with my laptop. Let's get the VGA cable lead thing that I've got. Let's plug it in. This could be really tricky. I'm trying to hold my laptop. I was going to show you as well. So basically, let's click that and that. Let's not get it on Gumtree. Let's get it on this. Here we go, as you can see, that is my laptop screen, which is my new laptop Acer. That's it there. Sadly, it's not like a... God, seriously. It's not... Oh, I'm getting in the way. Oops. It's not like a normal one that you could press and scan and stuff. But there's me. Hello. Uh, but here it is. It's really good, basically. Because I... I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn the light on. And plus, with the light on, I'm just using... Well, you probably won't see this because it's just turned off. But I'm using a Philips. Put it for this. I'm using a Philips bulb. Instead of using my 100 watt, I'm using a Philips bulb. Uh, just because I think they both power saving. <laughs> um, so basically, I'm just using that, and you can still see the screen. And, um,. Hope, well, you can still see the screen, you know what I mean? You could sit the light on it, you can still watch it, depending. My laptop's good at that. Um, basically, that's that. Uh, that's basically all I really need to show you for the minute. But basically, I'm using this, the uh, kind of hunk of junk, as it were, the CRT. Um, and since it was so heavy, I actually broke my chest of drawers, which is great. But then that's on the floor, and I thought, I need something. I need something better. So I thought, hmm... How about a projector? And I looked on eBay and stuff, but they're really expensive. I looked on um, Gumtree, and I managed to pick one up, as you can see, the NEC one. Um, and well, it came about. Let's go on menu. Let's show you how much it's got left. You can click the menu by clicking the menu button and uh, coordinating down to information. Yes, page. There we go. Page three. My parent not getting the way. Jesus. Right, page three. Now, I bought like that. Remaining lamp time, eighty percent. And um, basically, eighty percent is basically the lamp life left. And um, I've had obviously the lamp. The projector has been on for five hundred and eighty-nine hours. That nine hours is me. Um, filter usage has been nine hours. I will get to the filter. And projector uses is 5,637 hours. Uh, so it's a good projector. I got it for 80, 80 quid. Uh, which is it's really good price for that projector, to be right honest with it. Uh, so let's press cancel, 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 cancel. And back to the home screen. Right. Up next, I will show you how to um, basically change your filter if you're getting the clean filter message which I corrected it I'm kind of getting a bit lost here but never mind right here we go up next right what I've done is I've shown you just because in the side I don't know if you can see this but there's a little gap that's where the filter is so first things first as you can see I've moved it so it's looking a bit hunky it's looking a bit weird in my ball but basically first things first just press it once. Oh, okay. Press it once. Okay, no, just keep it down. What? What's it? Maybe put it back in this video. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Press it once, and it'll come off with, are you sure you want to power off? Press it again, and it powers off. Now, the extra cooling fan. Um, which means it'll go in extreme power mode, which means it basically, the big huge fan of it just basically cools down the lamp. You just wait a little bit until it goes off, because it's obviously just cooling down the lamp, because obviously, well, there's a huge lamp in there trying to, um, well, stay warm, I suppose. Uh, so just wait till that goes off. Um, no flip. I took this in, I'm getting a, another chest of drawers, but I took this in just to keep it on, um, because if it was on the floor, you had to get a prop it up a bit, and it looked a bit weird. Uh, so, just need wait. This this fan here, just because you can feel hot coming out, because it's obviously sucking all the air out. Obviously, just getting rid of it in the other 
I'm not actually quite sure to be honest, I'm not actually took apart a projector and I really don't want to. I can put things back together and stuff, but with a projector, a high piece of equipment, well... Now the fan is quite quiet on this, I wouldn't say it's like, but you can hear it sometimes, but if you're watching something or the speakers are on, right, here we go. Right, so if we move over here, you slide out, well, I know it won't focus, but you know what I mean. So anyway, there we go. Here we go. And that's it. That is your filter. Now you'll be thinking, what? That's not what my one looks like. And that's because it isn't. My one, when I took it, excuse me, um, car, oh, what are you doing? I don't think my light used to be a cat. Anyway, um, you'll be thinking, let me get this on a bit of, on a bit of wood, yeah. There we go, right. So you'll be thinking, but my one doesn't look like that. Your one will just be foam. Your one will just be foam. My one, uh, my foam broke. When you take it out, you'll see a foam, and my one had rips in it, and obviously it's protecting the bulb because it's obviously sucking in air, and if anything goes in the bulb, then it's going to, like, dust it up. So basically, I did a repair job. I got a bit of felt, um, cut it to the same size, and uh, not super glued it in, um, and basically what you do is... Your sponge should come out, and if it doesn't, don't force it, because some of them are different. Um, don't force it, and then um, basically take it out, put it in the sink, wash it, which is what I'm I can do to mine, which I'm going to do... Oh, my days. Anyway, which, um, basically what I'll do is wash it, and then wait, make sure it's dry. Clean the hole for it as well, to be honest. Um, and then... You can see it's starting to be a bit dusty already, but, you know, in, um, bit, put it back in. Basically, once you're done, put it back in. I'm not going to do it to mine, because I just replaced it tonight, because I had that idea. Um, and then put it back in its hole, once it's all clean and stuff. Put it back in its hole. There we go. Click. And there we go. Now, since it's all in, I'm going, I'm going to move my projector back. No, I haven't really got it positioned, because once it's on the wall, you position it. To be honest, once it's on the wall, you position it. So let's say once it's in, it's all nice and clean, you make sure it's clean, push the button again, let it power up, and we're just going to have to wait. If you look in, it's pretty funny, to be honest. So you can see something in there. I'm going to have to move, because it's going to start powering up the wall. Then there were some projectors at school, they come up with like Epsom or something, but this doesn't, pretty weird. Right, so there we go, there's it, uh, there's BBC3, now it's going to warm up obviously, because any projector will warm up. Now you might see little lines, I'm not sure if you see them, you might see little lines, that's just my connector, my S-video connector, but you need S-video uh, to connect if you're connecting like something, um, there it is. And you, now you might think it's a bit faint, but that's just because of the F video and stuff. Uh, but, see, that's as bright as it's going to go, to be honest. Um, yeah, but obviously when you turn lights off, it's, it's not bright, bright, to be honest. But that's just because um, you've got brightness settings, you've got darkness settings. And basically, cut, don't bite me, you stupid cat. Can't even see you. Don't bite me, you bite me. I'm and get someone to bite your tail off. <laughs> anyway, so let's say your clean filter's on. So basically what you do is cup, don't you dare do that. Bite you seriously cup. You click your menu button, we should bring it to that. Then you go down information. No, it's default. And then press clear lamp power. I'm gonna do this. Clear lamp no don't press that. Clear filter usage. Yes, and it's done that, so basically when you go down, go up, well no, you also have to press cancel, go up, information, across, page 2, page 3, and look, it says filter, I'll even go up to it for you, be nice, filter usage, zero hours, so now that resets and you won't get a little error message that would have came up before. Now I'll use the zoom button. Be honest, now I positioned this wrong, which you can see it. Um, now your one might be a bit dark, like my one is. So I'm just going to press cancel and I'm going to go up to, to image. Now you tiddle about with the settings. 
I want your food, but it really doesn't help. Um, let me flick. Um, anything good on? Probably not, to be honest. Um, now you see little bits of interference there. Bob's Burgers, or Big Bang Theory. That. Now the Big Bang Theory is the main kind of show. So basically what you'll do is, you just mess around with the settings, see what's happening. So that's what you're doing, just kind of muck around, I suppose. So there we go. Turn that back on. And there it is, the NEC VT460. Now, as I said, it's a bit light, which is the annoying bit, but you piddle around with the settings, which I haven't done yet, but you do that and it should be alright. So there we go, you now know how to operate it. So there we go, and leave comments, subscribe, da 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 da, you know the drill, there we go.